Hey guys, welcome to the April 2020 edition of the Keto Crate unboxing. You can catch March's unboxing right there. And if you remember from March, I talked about how one of the items in the March Keto Crate was completely destroyed and opened, even though the box itself looked to be in pretty good condition. You guys, I can't even say that this month's box appears to be in good condition. Like it just, it feels smashed. Like, I don't know if you can see, but there's already, there's like a dent in it. Like you guys in, I don't know, things sound crumbly. I'm going to give it a chance, but like, honestly, I was a little taken aback when I saw this keto crate. Okay. All right. Not too bad. We have all of the little inserts. Oh, oh, look, the legendary foods, uh, pop tarts. I saw Matt and Mega talk about this over on Keto Connect. They talked about how cinnamon brown sugar was their favorite, and I was like, clearly strawberry with the sprinkles on top is the best flavor. Comment down below, are you team cinnamon sugar? Look, there's not even any, any sprinkles on that. Or are you team classic strawberry with the white icing and the sprinkles on top? There's only one right answer. I'm gonna set that down and let's hop into the keto crate. Okay, everything looks to be okay. So let's start with moon cheese. I love moon cheese way too much. Moon cheese is one of those things where if I get the Costco size bag, I'm eating it all in a day. These are just cheddar cheese bites. They do some sort of like drying treatment on it that just makes it seem like it's from outer space. I guess that's where the name moon cheese comes from, but it's just dehydrated cheese and I love it. For this package, which I could eat 10 easy. <laughs> is 170 calories, 14 grams of fat, one gram of carbs, and one gram of fiber. So that's zero net carbs, like all the way here for this, 11 grams of protein. Like these are just like my favorite things. Oh, we have a Jimmy, a B lean bar with benefits, a Jimmy protein bar. Okay. This is completely flattened. Like it's soft. It's a macadamia nut keto friendly bar. Okay. Clearly Jimmy is just like somebody's brother. Like, Oh, I'm Jimmy. I want to start a, a, a bar company. Yeah. This is completely flat. Ah, this bar is 210 calories, 16 grams of fat, 15 total carbs. 11 of those are fiber. Uh, so it's four net carbs total, nine grams of protein. Yeah. So the ingredients are peanuts and then tapioca fiber syrup. So yeah, that's, that's going to be where all that fiber is coming from. Ugh. I have to give this some time to come to room temperature or something like it. It's a little too bendy for me. Oh, we have the rebel snacks. The, this is the matcha latte coconut bites. Now I'm not really a fan of matcha, but like, I really loved the other rebel snacks that came in a previous keto crate. So hopefully I will like these for two bites. Oh, and there's four per container. That's always a really good size. There are 130 calories, 14 grams of fat, seven total carbs, three fiber, two allulose, means there are one gram of net carbs per serving. Absolutely, for two bites, I am here for that. And then three grams of protein, absolutely. Yeah, so the ingredients, organic coconut, almonds, cashews, macadamia nuts, allulose. I mean, yeah, this just seems super clean and I'm excited to try it. Oh, we got a nush cake. <laughs> you guys, I like nush cakes. Not really sure I'm gonna like this one just because it's fruit. Like I'm not a fan of like fruit pies, fruit desserts, you know, anything. If it's not blueberry or strawberry filling of a Pop-Tart, I can't really mess with it. Like, I don't like pineapple upside down cakes. You know, I'm not sure that I'm gonna like this, but I'm definitely gonna try it. Nush cake is a staple. Four grams of net carbs per this square. There is one serving, 180 calories, 13 grams of fat, 19 total carbs, uh, four fiber, 11 sugar alcohol, uh, and then five grams of protein. So, I mean, I've had plenty of nush cakes before. They have other flavors. They have a blueberry, they have a carrot cake one. You know, they have a lot of other good flavors, but I'll give this one a try. Oh my gosh, high key mini chocolate chip cookies. I actually have these in my pantry right now. Like I have this exact same packaging. I know that I love it. You can also tell that this is a little older because high key has since rebranded and I love their new branding and everything. But I mean, these cookies still eat, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm definitely going to eat these and enjoy these. Yeah. They don't expire till November, 2020. They have chocolate chip. They have like a snickerdoodle. I think like 
some of my favorite cookies out there. Like, I'm so pleased that we're receiving so many things that I already know that I love. Okay, guys, there's two servings in this container. I never, ever would ever just eat half of this. But if you wanted to, uh, and that is about six cookies, it's going to be 140 calories, 13 grams of fat, 11 total carbs, two fiber, and seven erythritol. So that's going to be two net carbs uh, for half of this bag and three grams of protein. Like, I love it. Ingredients. Yeah, almond flour, natural sweetener, chocolate chips. Yeah, I mean, like, this is... I love these things. I have bought them with my own money. I currently have them in my pantry. I'm so excited that, you know, I got another one to add to the stack. Oh, I see some dang coconut chips. Dang, this is a big bag of coconut chips. Uh, sweet and toasty crunch. So you guys, once again, this is tropical mango. We just talked about how like fruit flavored things aren't really my jam, but actually like coconut with a hint of mango might actually be good. I'm, I'm just like a fruit cake sort of person. So these are dang coconut chips. Okay, there are three servings per container. Now I do feel like I could chop this up into a serving. For one serving, there's 200 calories, 17 grams of fat, 11 total carbs, six of those are fiber. Um, so that's four net carbs, that's pretty good. And then two grams of protein. I mean, yeah, these macros are nuts. The ingredients are coconut, mango juice, sea salt, citric acid, natural mango flavor. I mean, yeah, like this also seems to be clean ingredients. I might have to look online and see the other flavors of these coconut chips. Even if I don't like tropical mango that much, like this seems like a pretty interesting concept and I would love to give some of these a try. Oh, we have quavos, sour cream and onions, keto friendly, what are they like, egg bites? Yes, you guys, we've had this in a keto crate I feel like recently, like maybe within the last six months, I don't know if you want to call that recent, but like, I love these. I know that I love them and I ain't mad at getting them again. This one bag is 140 calories, 10 grams of fat, eight grams of carbs and four fiber. So four net carbs for this whole bag, uh, eight grams of protein. I really, really like these when I first tried them. So I am glad to see them come back around. Oh geez, we have some legendary foods, pizza flavored almonds. You guys know how I feel about savory flavored nuts. One question, it's also a letter. Why? 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 They, nuts don't need to be flavored like pizza. That's all I'm saying. But whatevs. I mean, legendary foods is known for the flavorings on their nuts. So I'm sure this tastes good. It's just unnecessary. Serving size is one bag, 200 calories. 18 grams of fat, eight grams of carbs, four of those are fiber. So that's four net carbs for this little pouch here and then seven grams of protein. Like the ingredients aren't dirty. It's not really that bad. We have almonds, erythritol, palm oil, geez louise, and then contains less than 2% of like a bunch of other things. I know I like nuts. I'm not a fan of flavored nuts, but these are something good to have around in a pinch. Oh my God. What do I like even less than flavor nuts? Meat sticks, what chunky stick is this? Jeez Louise. This is, I, I mean, I've never, it's a fatty, no matter what it is, it's called. Oh God, it's called a, a, it's a Sweetwood Smokehouse Fatty Smoked Meat Stick. There is no way I'm eating this. Like we're not even trying this on Smash the Crate. Like absolutely not. It doesn't even have a flavor. It's just original, absolutely not. No, 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 no. The nutritional information is available on the website. I don't care, I'm not eating it. I mean, this, I just, can you see it to scale? Like, this is so thick. No, no. <laughs> and then we have, oh my gosh, we have a Stokobar birthday cake flavor. I am obsessed. I love Stokobars. Is this, this one feels, no, okay. I would say like it feels broken, but I also feel like that's just their newer texture is they're a lot softer than they used to be. Stokemars used to really give me those Nature Valley like crunchy vibes, but apparently they changed their formula. I'm not mad at it. I love birthday cake flavored anything. So I am very excited to try this. I haven't tried this flavor. I think we received a, like a pumpkin spice flavor last fall and it was delicious. If this actually tastes like birthday cake, I might have to buy these because you know that's a problem. Places call everything birthday cake, sea salt caramel, you know like these are just like 
buzzwords, in my opinion, that get you to buy stuff, but they rarely taste like it. If this actually tastes like birthday cake, I'm going to be pleasantly surprised. For one bar, there is 250 calories, 22 grams of fat, 18 total carbs, six of those are fiber, eight of those are sugar alcohol, giving us four net carbs, and then we have nine grams of protein. And then finally, we have, oh man, some crispy cuts. These crispy cuts pork rinds, we got a flavor in the keto crate before. It was like a like a hot and spicy chipotle. I think it was chipotle pepper. This is Parmesan peppercorn. I really, really liked these pork rinds. Once again, I'm just not going out of my way to like buy gourmet or artisan pork rinds. Like the pork rinds that I find at my local grocery store are definitely good enough. If anything, Whole Foods maybe. But like I really did enjoy these field trip crispy cuts. Uh, and so I look forward to trying these. There are two servings per this container, surprise, surprise. Per serving, there's 80 calories, six grams of fat, one total carb, okay, so two carbs per container, uh, and seven grams of protein. And yeah, these ingredients look clean. Fried pork skins, grated Parmesan cheese, spices, like yeah. I really, really enjoyed these crispy cuts. Glad to see them back. Okay guys, overall this crate was in much better condition on the inside than it was on the outside, so I will give it that. I have kind of mixed feelings because there are a lot of things in here that I know that I love and that makes me happy, but then like it's also a lot of repeaters. Like I don't really get to try anything new because I've had a lot of this stuff before. So I'm trying to figure out what value do I get most out of the keto crate? Is it introducing me to things that I haven't had before? Or is it just delivering me a bunch of stuff that I know I like and I know I'm gonna enjoy without having to buy in bulk quantity? Hmm, I don't know. But either way, I'm really pleased with this month's keto crate. I cannot wait to smash the crate with my mom. I am looking forward to this Jimmy protein bar, I'll tell you that, like I've never heard of this before. Okay guys, so what did you think of this month's keto crate? Comment down below. What in here have you tried? Do you know that you love? What in here would you be most excited to try? You can get $10 off your very first keto crate by using the link in the description box below, or you can get a free keto crate because I'm giving one of these away. All you gotta do is leave a comment down below with what item you like the most or what item you'd be most interested to try. And we'll be announcing the winner on our April Smash the Crate video. Okay guys, thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you next month.